Hi, everybody, and happy 2019. Welcome to Z Code System Sports Picks. Here we develop and share automated systems to help you win big, and not only win big, but win very consistently. So as we're into the first weekend of the 2019 calendar year, we are at the halfway point of the NBA season. We have some good matchups for you. I'm going to take a look at uh, one matchup here. We have the Dallas Mavericks and the Boston Celtics. Now, this is at our VIP section page here on our site. So if you look at this matchup here, Dallas is ice cold down. Boston is average down. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup, Dallas actually won the first meeting between the two teams as a home underdog. And it's a little bit surprising, but Dallas has been quite good at home, but they are terrible, terrible, terrible on the road. That would give Boston a big advantage in this one. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you will see that uh, Boston is on the upward trend. They are at plus 21. Dallas is also upward trend at plus 10. Um, if you take a look here at a little bit more, we can look here at the volatility oscillator. It's important to see how they're playing according to their favorite underdog status. You see that Dallas is at plus 12 and Boston has a plus 11. So they're both quite stable, which means that they, again, they're performing pretty much as expected to perform according to their status. So because of that, because of how poorly Dallas is on the road, this should be a pretty easy win for the Celtics here at home. So we're going to look at another one that's probably a pretty lopsided matchup, the Indiana Pacers against the Chicago Bulls. Indiana is third in the conference. They are burning hot. Chicago is average down. If you look at the head-to-head -head meeting between the two teams, Indiana has won the last two, and they have won three out of the last, actually four out of the last six, if you look back to December of 2017. If you look at... Um, the power ranking indicator this should also show a clear advantage for Indiana, and again it does at plus 28 to plus 8 for Chicago. If you go down here to uh, the team volatility oscillator, how are they performing according to their uh, favorite underdog stats? Well, they're both performing pretty much as you would expect. They're very high on the team volatility oscillator in terms of stability. So again, this should be a win for Indiana, and it should be a win rather easily. So we'll go down here to some matchups that are that won't be so lopsided. If we scroll down here, we're going to look at for the Lakers and the Knicks. Now you think that this would be very lopsided because the Knicks are dead stats, the Lakers are average. But there is no LeBron James right now for the Lakers. He is out with a groin injury. He likely won't even be ready for this weekend. It's uncertain that. To this point but he hasn't even practiced yet so let's take a look at the head-to-head -head matchups if you look at head-to-head -head, the last meeting was january of uh 2018 last year so you see the lakers and the Knicks split last year between the two that doesn't really make too much of a difference this year but wanted to take a look at that anyway now if you look at the trends here you see that the lakers are going down that's since the injury to james not a surprise so they're down to plus 14 but they still have plus 14 to plus one edge on the power ranking indicator over the Knicks. If you look at team volatility, again, both teams are pretty much performing as you would expect. They're both at plus 14, so they're both quite stable. So the Lakers are still quite good at home. They have a 13-6 home record. The Knicks have lost eight in a row. The Lakers will win this one, even without James, probably maybe even by double digits. Probably not, but maybe. Okay, and here is the game of the week. Well, maybe not the game of the week, but definitely the game of the day for Friday. The Oklahoma City Thunder against the Portland Trailblazers. You see Oklahoma City as average status right now. Portland is burning hot. Both teams are in the mix in the Western Conference playoff picture with Oklahoma City just a game and a half out of the top spot behind Denver and Golden State. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the teams, you will notice that Portland has pretty much dominated. They have won the last... One of the last six meetings going all the way back to March of 2017. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you will see that Oklahoma City and Portland both slightly going on a downward trend lately, but they are still ranking pretty high here at uh, plus 23 for Oklahoma City and plus 18 for Portland. So what do I expect for this game? Well, let's look at team volatility first to see how they're performing according to what you would expect them to perform again both of them are ranking pretty high in stability oklahoma city likely will be a slight road underdog but it's going to be close and i'm actually going to go a little bit of an upset here i think oklahoma city will prevail ending 
the six game winning streak by Portland over them. Oklahoma City will keep pushing for the top spot in the Western Conference with the win in this one. So I think that's all of the games here that I want to show you. Actually, there is one more. Let's go up here and take a look at Orlando and Minnesota. Here we go, Orlando and Minnesota. Orlando right now is ice cold down. Minnesota is average down. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups between the two teams, again, uh, you don't have anything except for last season. You see that Orlando won the last meeting between the two teams in January of 2000. 18. That doesn't have much of an effect for this game today, or excuse me, this game on Friday. So let's take a look at the power ranks indicator. As you see here, Minnesota is up and down. They've got up by a little bit now, back up to plus 11. Orlando, as you know, early as uh, recently as December 28th, was only plus four, and they're up to plus nine. So they're on an upward uh, swing at the moment. Let's take a look at the Team Volatility Oscillator, which I always like to do to see what's happening. Uh, you see here that um, Minnesota was up to plus 9. They have dropped a bit in stability down to plus 7. And Orlando was all the way up to plus 6 at one point, just December of, uh, 19th. And they've dropped down, now back up slightly to plus 3. So Minnesota is a bit more stable. Neither team are real real stable so looking at the favorite underdog status on this one might not be your best option as far as picking a winner for this game um when the matches are relatively close which this one is i tend to go with the home court advantage and that is minnesota so i believe minnesota will come away with the win in this one but it probably will be relatively close now if you're not interested as much in the numbers like i'm showing you right here and going through all this take a look at all the oscillators you can go to performing automated systems here on our VIP page here see there's the VIP picks hot trends etc it's under the hot trends tab top automated system if you scroll down here you can pick whatever sport you want let's select the NBA because that's what we're looking at right now so you got the NBA and you can look at the time period you know last three months last three months active start beginning etc etc you can go 2019 which would just be the last you know day but anyway, and then you can go to whichever one you want. If you just click on one and you look at it, you see what happens here. We take a look at this one. And you can see how, right here, you can see the net profit. And then you can see the previous season graph. So again, you can go just look down through here and pick one of these. And this should help you as far as what you want to do for your picks. So now I also want to show you something else here that we are running right now. We are running a quick contest here. So who could who could, uh, you know, pick the game here between the Seattle Seahawks and the Dallas Cowboys. This is the NFL wildcard game this weekend. So anyway, here's a contest. You could win up to $1,000. So you just go here and you can take a look here what you, can, what you need to do. Again, here it says the rules are simple. Go to Seattle and Dallas game below and put in your picks. Again, you have to be a member. So you, if you're not a member, you can join. Or if you are a member, you can click right there and log in. And then just make your pick. You want to comment with the exact score prediction and your new year resolution so there you have it and you could possibly be a winner you can just scroll down through here and read completely what it's all about but that is one of the newest contests so pick that game and maybe you can be a winner and enjoy so there you have it uh if you're not a member i urge you to join up you know be a part of some you know some fun win some money and enjoy so enjoy this weekend's games as far as the NBA goes, and we will see you next week. Bye for now.